On Toronto's Bay Street, it's easy enough to find the luckiest. And a question about tax hikes for the wealthy gets an immediate response. I think we pay enough taxes. Who's going to put their money here with the ta high tax rates and the capital gains and everything else? We're, the economy is shrinking as it is. The tax rate for incomes greater than $200,000 a year will rise from 29% to 33%. That means in six provinces, when you add provincial income taxes, the overall rate rises to above 50%. Accountant Mark Goodfield says that 50% mark is a psychological barrier, one his clients are having difficulty coming to terms with. I haven't had this for a long time where so many people are really upset about how much tax they have to pay. And again, does, is it clouding their judgment? Some of his clients are now talking about moving business offshore. Others say they will scale back work hours or delay expansion and investment. The government at the end of the day is probably going to get less tax revenue because they're not creating a new business or trying to grow their business and hire more employees. And while the hike for the affluent is intended to pay for the cuts for the middle class, some economists say the math doesn't add up. When you introduce very high rates of taxation on high income earners, they actually change their behaviour. With expert advice, high-income earners can often find ways to lower their taxable income. So for every dollar that the, the government would plan to collect, they might only get maybe 40 cents on the dollar. For many Canadians, it may be difficult to feel badly for top earners in an area when the 1% are so often demonized. They're still big players in the economy. Taxing the rich may be good politics, but some economists say it has its limits. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Toronto.